okay so when you launch your smart pls software you click on file and then you create new project so you give it a name so let's say aristo verbs then you click on ok the next thing to do is to import your data but before you have to make sure the data is in a csv delimited format so assuming your file is in an excel format you have to convert it into the csv delimited format and this is how you do it so you come to where your file is so assuming this is your file see when i hover around it you are seeing microsoft excel worksheets so this is not in the csv format so you just open it and then you click on file you come to save us and then in the save us type dialog box you select the csv comma delimited format then you click on save so you see a pop-up menu asking you whether you want to keep using this format then you click on yes so now our file is in the csv format so in order to import our data we come to file we click on import data file and then we select our data so this is our data so we double click to select it and then we click on ok if you want to change the name you can do so here yeah. but i want to maintain the same name so i click on ok okay so um this pane here gives you the characteristics of your data right so you have the mean the median the minimum value the maximum value the standard deviation the excess ketosis the skewness and what have you all right um so this is just giving you an overview of the data that you imported right so let's get into the main the main analysis so we come to this path model so you double click on this path model right we want to start uh, representing our data on on our workspace right so we click you double click on this path model right so we are basically going to represent our model in this workspace here right so you would click on the latent variable all right so you click on it and then you bring the cursor to this workspace here and then you you click on the workspace just once now when you come to this side of the page you are seeing the indicators right so the indicators are simply the various constructs you used in your model right so in this particular study we were looking at the the impact of financial risk tolerance on financial behavior as well as some antecedent of financial risk tolerance right so what you are going to do is that you are going to select all identical indicators right so what you do is that you click on one so let's say i want to select all financial behavior questions right so this is f1 fb1 so i'll click on fb1 then i'll hold the control key then i'll select all fb indicators or questions right so i'll click on fb2 so you still hold on the control button whilst you are selecting all the identical indicators so i'm selecting all my fb 
variables. So once you are done selecting all the identical variables, you hold on the left button, the left mouse button. Okay, and then you move everything okay into this latent variable. Alright, so this is a representation of our FB, that's financial behavior questions. So if you want to reposition it, you just come to the select, okay, then you click, you hold the left mouse button and then you just move it to wherever you want to position it at, right? So I want to position it on this side, okay? So the next thing is to select the other indicators. So the next one is FRT, that's the financial risk tolerance. So you click on one, you hold the control button, and then you select all the financial risk tolerance indicators. So I'm done selecting, I'll hold the left but the left mouse button and then I'll drag it onto the workspace here. Okay, so I can go to select and then I can reposition it. Okay, so I come back to my indicator pane and then I select the next set of indicators. So that is the DET. Okay, so I click on one, I hold the control button. I select the other. So there are only two. So I just drag them onto the workspace here. I click on the select to reposition it well. Okay. So I come back to OPT. So I click on the first one, hold the control button. I select all the OPT indicators. Then I drag them onto the workspace here. I click on select to reposition it. Okay, so the next one is the TR. So you click on one, you hold the control button, then you select the rest. You drag it onto the workspace. You click on select to reposition it. It shouldn't be perfect, okay? It shouldn't be perfect. So, your objective is to introduce all the indicators onto this workspace here. Okay, so we, the next one is our FTS. We hold down the control button, we select all the FTS indicators. We hold the left button to drag it onto the workspace here. We can reposition it well. Okay. The last set of indicators is the FFS. So I drag it onto the workspace here. Okay, so I think this is cool. can bring this here so I'm just aligning them well okay okay so the next thing to do is to rename your variables so to rename you just place the, the cursor on that particular variable you right click and then you, you click on rename okay so this is fb fb right so just rename it fb 
click on OK. Right. We go to the second one that is FRT. Right click. You select rename. You give it a new name FRT. We do same for DT. We come to the OPT. And then the TR. FTS. And then our FFS. Okay, so once we are done renaming, the next thing is to connect the various variables, right? With respect to the the, the, the model or the framework. So this framework looks at the impact of financial risk tolerance on financial behavior, right? And the and then some antecedents of financial risk tolerance that is some factors that affect financial risk tolerance so we are you are supposed to connect it based on the framework that you developed for the study so to do that you click on the connect option up here and then since we are looking at the impact of financial risk tolerance on financial behavior we are going to place a cursor on FRT and then we are going to drag it towards FB. So once you are done, you just release the left mouse button and then you click. You just give a left click on the FB. Okay. Then you come to um, the antecedent of the FRT and then you connect them to the FRT. So you would place the cursor on DET, you hold the left button and then you drag the arrow to the FRT. You release the left button and then you, you click on it once. You do same for OPT, you, you hold the left mouse button, okay, and then you drag it towards the FRT. You release the, the left button and then you click on it. You do same for TR, FTS, and then FFS. So once you are done connecting all the variables, you realize that the, the color of the circles will change from orange to blue, right? So that, that indicates that you have connected all the variables, right? So this is the the first part of the whole process so we are done representing our variables on this workspace so the next thing to do is to analyze our data